Use your hand with a question and uh, direct it to either of the student athletes, and we'll go ahead and get started. We'll go to Scott in the back. Hello, Scott Docterman with The Athletic. This question's for Caitlin. Caitlin, is, who is the one player that maybe had the most influence in the way you play basketball, and why? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, honestly, like I would, I grew up watching a lot of different players. Um, I always had basketball on, no matter what level it was. And honestly, like the two biggest people that I looked up to are two of my cousins. My cousin ended up playing at Creighton uh, for a while. Her name was Audrey Faber. She played at Dowling, and like I always idolized her. And she could score the ball well. She could shoot the ball. Um, so I would say like. The closest person to me was probably her, but other than that, like Maya Moore, like I love the way she played basketball. Um, you know, Sabrina, when I was in high school, like that was always who I had on. I always watched Oregon. I always watched Sabrina and the way she played the game. Um, but I was just somebody that loved basketball no matter who it was. Like I always had the TV on, whether it was men's, whether it was women's, whether it was the WNBA, NBA, like I always loved watching the game. So um, I feel like it was a, a lot of different players, honestly. Howie Kassoy, New York Post, Caitlin. Kind of going off of that, when you got older, when maybe you're in high school or a freshman, like, or maybe in Team USA, were there any players you ever stepped on the floor with where you're like, oh, wow, I'm playing with this person, or you kind of had gotten used to watching them and then it became <laughs> real? Yeah, I feel like it was kind of like that way whenever I was playing USA basketball. Like, all those players are really, really talented. And I would say especially when I was in high school still and I was on the U19 team at the time and Coach Walls was our coach, Coach Close was our coach, and, um, like, Ryan Howard was on the team, Nas Hillman was on the team, Alia Boston was on the team. Like it was just like I came off the bench. Like it was just a loaded roster of players. Paige was on the team, Haley Van Lith was on the team. Like all these players that you look around and are having so much success, whether they're either now in the WNBA, Ryan was obviously rookie of the year, same with Aaliyah. And um I think it's that. Like I always like loved being surrounded by really great players and I always knew how great they were when I got to play with them. But also at the same time, like I knew I could hold my own, but also it showed me a lot of ways that I could get better and um whenever I had those experiences they were really special. Jeff. Uh Jeff Linder, Cedar Rapids Gazette, either of the players, just uh your perceptions of Holy Cross uh from watching them last night. Yeah, I think they've got a couple pretty good shooters from the outside and they're just a good, solid team. We'll know, we know they're going to give it their all um, and give us their best shot. So I think it's important for us to guard that three-point line and just play a good, solid defense. And honestly, don't do anything we've not, we haven't done all year and just play Iowa basketball and get better. Dennis. Dennis Dodd, CBS Sports for both players. Caitlin, how have you managed all this, just the entire thing and I'd like that perspective from Gabby too because um, you know in a lot of ways you guys are playing in the shadow I guess if nothing else yeah I think it's been it's been a journey and it's honestly gone really fast and obviously this last year has been really crazy my life has been really crazy all of our lives have been crazy but I don't know like my main goal my main focus is basketball and school and getting my degree and that's where I spend all of my time doing that and um, it's been nice like I'm close to finishing my degree so a lot of my stuff is online this semester and um, just getting to enjoy these last few months of basketball with my best friends has been really really fun for myself and I guess that's what the thing where I find kind of peace in is like I don't feel like this is a job I don't feel like I have to go out there and score 40 points a night like I just go out there and have fun and you know at the same time I know I'm this is a team sport I have four other people on the court with me at the same time and I can rely on them and I'm gonna need them if we want to reach our goals in March it can't just be me and they've been playing amazing basketball too so um yeah I think I don't know I feel like we still act the same way we still I don't know are the same team we have the same culture that we've always had since I stepped on the court when I was a freshman and um I think like that just speaks to who we are and th that's the reason we've had success is because that's how we approach every single day. Yeah, I would just say obviously she has a lot of attention on her all the time and that can bring a lot of pressure, but I think she handles it better than anyone I've ever met. Um, I know if it was me, it'd be a lot on me. So um, I give her props for that. And I think she just comes in every day, every practice and just you can just tell how much she loves her teammates. and how much she loves her coaches and how much she just loves the game. And so I think that just radiates through everything that she does. And I mean, there's no, no one more deserving than her of everything that she's accomplished. 
Kyle Hughesman, Hawkeye Report. Question for both of you guys. This is this is the last time for you guys that you get to go through an NCAA tournament. You're both moving on from Iowa after this year. What's the the mood like for you guys, knowing that you know it's different from last year, where you come in, you know, there's another year, but this is this is the last time you get to to try to make a run in the NCAA tournament. Honestly, like I was, I would say for myself, and I don't know if this is the same for Gab. Like it doesn't really feel like this is like the end for us. I feel like that's not really how we're approaching it. I feel like we're kind of approaching it like this is very businesslike. This is like we're here to win. We're here to get back to the Final Four. Um, I feel like if you approach it in a way of, you know, this is the end, this is our last time playing on our home court, this is our last time hosting, like you can get too caught up in the emotions of it, and sure, you're going to feel the emotions at some point, that's just how it's going to go, but um, I think just approaching it in like a business-like manner and going 1-0 every single day is always what Coach Bluter says, I think that's the biggest thing, at least for myself, is, you know, I understand we're really only guaranteed one more game from here on out, but you know, I think just going out there and having fun and approaching it like you always do, that's what's going to bring you success, and that's what brought us success last year. So you can't be too worried about when it's going to end or how it's going to end. You just got to enjoy the moments and live in the moments and, you know, don't let them pass you by. Gabby, do you want to take that too? Yeah, I would say, obviously, I agree with everything she said, but at the same time, like, we know this is our last tournament as well, and I think that just brings an extra motivation for the three of us. And um, it, boy, I'm Molly, <laughs> but um, so I, I think just knowing that this is the last time we'll go through this together as a team, and just make the most of it, give it our all every night we're out there. Go ahead, Steve Silverman, Ivy Hoops Online. Um, so for both of you, you enter this tournament as a number one seed. Mm -hmm. Does that create any higher expectations or any additional pressure for you? No, I would say whether we're a one seed, whether we're a 10 seed, it doesn't matter. I feel like this team would have the same expectations of ourselves and what we're capable of. I think everybody in our locker room knows what we're capable of. And um, to be honest, I don't think seeding really matters. It is what it is. That's your draw. It doesn't matter if you have a one by your name. It doesn't matter if you have a nine by your name. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You got to go, come and show up and play every single night. And I think our group has great perspective on that. Obviously, our, my sophomore year and a lot of the girls on the team experienced this too. Like, we got upset by a 10 seed on our home court. So, um, you know, anybody can be beat on any given day. That's just how this tournament works. That's why this tournament is so fun. Um, but also, you can beat anybody too. Um, and that's where you can find a lot of success. And that's what we did last year. And so I think our, our team having that experience is the biggest thing. And understanding, you know, how this tournament works um, is, is good. And I, I, like more than anything, I think just the experience is something we need to lean on. Not everything's going to be perfect. And um, it's how you respond to those moments. It's going to lead you to a win. Gabby, go ahead. I think she said it perfectly. <laughs> <clears throat> Further questions? Anyone else? <clears throat> All right. Thank you. Sweet. Our next uh, speaker will be Coach Lisa Bluter.